we head to Kidney Hill? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. If we if we start working back towards Kidney Hill again, um, you never know. We might uh, pick up the other two brothers along the way. What's this track here? Cal? Let's see. Well, I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of cow tracks here. Yeah, that's a cow. I'll check these over here. Because if we pick up another bull. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's either the largest one in the group or the second largest one. Probably. They should give you some kind of achievement for getting the five brothers. Yeah. What was that? Oh. Check this over here. Yeah, okay, that so that was that cow. So yeah, it looks like all these tracks here are cows. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't. Did you get a call? Yeah. Uh, so I didn't a pick white, it up it was from a white, here. It was a white tail buck. And I think... Let me see if I can figure out where it is. Wait a minute, let me look at that thing again. Right. Hit my scent eliminator. It right just there. died. Right there. That's where he called from. Okay. That's... That's probably that uh, that yearling again, but worth checking it out. Yeah, well, I know you wanted a white tail, so that's why I was. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you catch up to me. Yeah, I'm just about ten meters back from you. But yeah, he. Well, I wish you could tell how big they are from their call. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's in a general neighborhood of where he called from earlier, so. Yeah. He did not drop on the spot, I don't understand. Was that 30 out 6 where I hit him, but he's not as not as glorious as what I'd like, but he's certainly a respectable whitetail in that. I'll do her. But yeah, I put down the, the whitetail scent patch. And, uh, like, a, oh, yeah, he's down. All right. Um, I'd put down that scent patch, and she came walking up just like I'd put down an elk patch. It was really weird. That's, I wonder if that was a bug. <laughs> the AI went a little screwy. Well, I've had him do that before. The other thing I've had him do is I've made a call and put down a scent patch and then backed away 30, 40 meters. And instead of walking up to the scent patch, they've walked right up to me. I see you. There he is. He did go ways. Yeah. Yeah, he went a little farther than I expected, but... Yeah, he's... He's technically a ten point, so, I mean, he's not bad. No, no. Okay. But I've got that elk out there somewhere. He's on the other side of the tree here. Yeah, I see him. I'll let you finagle him. Yeah, he's a 119. Yeah. Cock his head to the side. Makes him look curious. Walk up right here. Yep, yep. And uh, to your right, just a little bit. There we go. 
Not bad. Cool. Then he disappears into the ether. <laughs> Damn. Is Jimmy now, still with us? I need to see if I can pick up that elk track. I hate to have one out there. But yeah, his weight estimate's a bit higher. He could be a, a moderately decent animal. Yeah, this is still a fleeing track, so... Depending on where he went, we might be able to call him back in while we're in the stand. Yeah. There's a rocky patch when you come over the top of uh, Kidney Hill and maybe he heard us walking or something. It's good to say, because we both had our sense of pressure on. Yeah, I and think he continued on right past the stand. Yeah, we got good. I've got good camouflage, so. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. See the so there track. she is. Yeah, she's coming down to the water's edge now. Right there. But yeah, his next fleeing track is right here. He went back to roaming here. Unless unless it was Yeah, that must have been his inbound and when he ran he fled back along his original track line. Right. Because, yeah, here he is fleeing again. But he's 75 to 100 kilograms is what he's showing. This one down here is probably his original incoming track. Yep, that's his original incoming track. So he came from that direction. We spooked him, and he, and he fled out. So I'm going to pick the fleeing track back up and... Uh, You have black tail stuff with you? Yes, I do. Do you? Um, yeah, yeah, I do. But what I was going to say is I'll drop a white tail patch right back here on open ground. And if you drop a black tail patch. Ah. Well, let me see if I got it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I need to put it in up in here. Let's see. Is this it? Yeah. All right. Because we got lots of tracks here. So I'll, I'll just do the call because that works for both of them. Right. And then I'll drop a white tail scent patch right here where I called. And we can just go up in the, in the stand and see if anybody comes in. Because this stand has always been very worthwhile. Okay. And we've got his fling track right down there, so... Hey, we don't have anything coming here and we want to continue on. We've got a whitetail track to follow because we'd only mapped out our route to here. Yeah. So we've hit the end of our route. So from here is kind of whatever whatever the universe dictates, I guess. Do you see the female now? I don't No. Yeah, I see her now. I see her. She's right down there. Yeah, she's going to work her way up here, I'm sure. Don't you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Check my sense suppressor. It's been a bit here. I nine minutes. I'm good. All right. Well, that's kind of freaky. The water was given a reflection of where it looked like every now and then she have two heads. <laughs> here she comes. Yeah, the biggest rows of elk, elk that I have seen on this map, I saw on the far shore, and I never got a shot at him. Mm. But his his rack was bigger than his body, so wow. I'm sure he was just absolutely amazing. But at yeah. that time, I didn't have a weapon with a scope on it because it was like really, really early on when when I started playing the game and iron sights when I I could see them with my with my uh range finder but when I put up my iron sights I literally couldn't make him out out over there never got yeah. the shot 
Oh, yeah. Sounds like she's made her way up here now. She's about ready to walk under the... Yeah. She didn't have a clue. She's looking right at me, too. Yeah. I mean, that's a close-up. <laughs> Oh, she must have heard something. Yeah. Or saw me, or there she goes. Yeah, when they get right directly under the stand, um, a lot of times they'll they'll pick up your scent. But the direction she ran was just fine, because if we have a black tail come in, they'll usually come in from the back side of the stands. So. Yeah, from the trees. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm looking back there. There's an open area or something back there. Uh, and there we've got an elk cow coming in from the right side. Did her starting to bed down? She just laid down. Did she? <laughs> yep. Which is why I was curious about following that buck's track because the odds are really high that we'd come across him bedded down. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm hearing the hoof just to, a little bit to the right of her. I think she's is she stuck in the trees? No. No, no she she's not a, I've seen him do that. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's just right down there. Yeah. Nope, there's another female bedded down. She looks like a potato. <laughs> yeah. Resvet elk female, 260 to 360 kilograms. Hmm. Oh, there's something else out there coming this way. Yep, I see something trotting in. It's another cow. Yep. Well, they don't lay together. Where are you going, girl? Where are you going with a head like that? <laughs> okay, now I'm hearing something over here. What am I hearing? Yeah, so we got the one that's bedded down and two walking around independently. Well, there's two, and I think that one's going to lay down next to him. She's circling. Yeah. Yep. Just like a dog. <laughs> well, find your spot. <laughs> like Princess and the Pea. I get the perfect spot. Ah, she can't decide. <laughs> there she goes. Okay, I'm hearing some walking still. No, there's three of them laying down over there. Yeah, and we got a we got the fourth one who's kind of wandering back and forth on the little trail that goes out here at an angle. Oh. Try not to move. I don't want to spook anything yeah if you if you want to come completely across just go prone and you won't make any noise as you pass 
Is that the, the female I hear? Yeah. Yeah, she's right down through the trees below me here. Yeah, yeah, that's that. That one that was wandering. Yeah. Yeah, she gets much closer and she's gonna gonna send us and, and run. But that's okay. There, so there's a doe. Where's she at? Uh, yeah, over so there. She, yeah, yeah, between between this side of the lake and Kidney Hill. And it's traditionally been pretty good for, for whitetail and for moose. Yeah. Pick this fella's track back up here. Yeah, there we go. Figure out where he went from here. He seems to have been traveling back along his own track line, so. Yeah. His track may actually be farther farther down here. Yeah, there it is. Unless that's what his previous incoming again. And the rain is going to help us out a little bit. It's almost like being a hair show. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if this is incoming or outgoing here. No, I am not seeing things. We have got a moose, and he is 470 to 5-something. His horn development is looking pretty good. He's about 150 meters out. Jeez. Yeah, I haven't spotted I haven't spotted him yet. Yeah, he's he's fairly dark in color. So he kinda stood out against the trees there. I haven't seen the next track from that white tail here at all. Um it's probably farther over to the right, but just ease up right here. See if I can get eyes on that moose for you again. Cause he was looking pretty good. His horns were kind of obscured, so... Yeah. There he is. All right. Oh, Hawkeye. Really? <laughs> Hawkeye, Hawkeye, Hawkeye. Oh, I see him now, I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He's he's 470 to 540 with a score of 130 to 205. Jeez. Do not be afraid to go hot to take him. He's... He's one of the better mooses you'll find on this end of the map. That's for damn sure. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, shoot. Where'd he go? I'm looking square at him. He's 92 meters out. I lost him. That's not what I do. I don't want to call that, that cow over here. Uh, I think he might have... <laughs> That's not him. He's moving away from us now. I dropped a dot where he went through, so we should be able to pick up his track. If you're interested in him. Yeah, I am. I always am interested right. in moose. All right. Well, let's. I'll let's just ease forward on. On the right hand side of the pond, he is ignoring the calls, but um, I'm just really quick going to swap out my moose scent so that I've got uh, the caller and the scent so you don't have to worry about dealing with it.
Okay. And we've got his path where he went through. So. Okay. You know, and I mean, if a white tail pops up in here, that's great. But otherwise, yeah, that's that's probably one of the that well, that probably is the biggest moose I've seen on this end of the map. Really? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, there, there goes he my goes. Boy, and there goes the moose. All right. Damn. Well, that's okay. He uh, because he, I saw I saw right where they both took off, so we should be able to pick up their tracks on the other side of the little pond here. Oh yeah definitely be worthwhile yep I didn't get a, a look at the buck's horns I don't know at all what he was like but because he came right through here they both did okay so that is the track of the white tail so the and just ahead to the right I believe is the doe so I'm going to check this over here because okay. I know we pick up a moose track here, and, and it's going to be him. All right, that's Roosevelt elk female. Wait a minute. But they both took off right straight in that direction, so. What's this one over here? I'll just take a quick look here. All right, yep, so that's, that's the white-tailed deer. Okay. All right, and that was a female Roosevelt elk that just took off. All right, so this is that moose's track. Wait a minute. This is stand. There he is. I think that's him. I think that's him. Or oh, yeah. Not. I think, I think right there. I'd have yep, to go hot to get him unless you can call him in. All right, I'm I'm gonna do the call for you. So there's some moose scent. <coughs> I'm just gonna ease right behind this tree so I can spot for you range-wise. Okay. Yeah, I can go prone and shoot him. So. Okay, where is he? Where did he go? Well, we've got his trail now. But yeah, usually the moose over on this side don't top 190, so <clears throat> the fact that he could be a 205, that's that's about as big as they get on this side. Is it? Wait a minute. Yeah. Who is, what is that over there? Let me see. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't have eyes on him anymore. I see movement, but I, he's... There, wait a minute, let me try my... Super binoculars there. That's him. Oh, he has got some serious antlers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But he just keeps standing there. Well, um, you should be able to belly crawl forward to that next tree that's right straight ahead of you. And yeah. still be, be able to hold your prone position. And then once you get there, then what I'll do is I'll, I'll try adjusting across to see if I can get eyes on him again. But I just do not have eyes on him. So I can't get you a, a, a distance, you know? Yeah. I don't know where he is. All right. Well, then what I'm going to do is just ease left here. All right. Now I got eyes on him. He is currently 74 meters out from me. Yeah, he's a good-looking fella. I mean, don't be afraid to go hot. There's, there's plenty of white tail in the world. Okay, I have no longer have eyes on him. All right. I do. 
he's still just standing there. All right, he's starting to move kind of across and to the right, and so I'm going to do call and scent again, see if we can entice him this way. Yeah, because I'm just seeing... I just saw part of him, but now he's hidden again. Well, I literally got one spritz of moose spray left after this, so... Jeez, I've got some. Granted, it's All right. Kinda... He is still standing there. He's kind of rocking his head back and forth. He's starting to move to the right now. He's 45 oh, meters out from me, and you are 14 meters out from me, so he's about 40 meters. He... All right, he's moving across to the right, and he's paused. There you go. Nice shot. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. That's the way. And maybe I'll be able to pick that buck track back up. Yeah, because I didn't have to make a sound. Yeah. Yeah, so it'd be cool if we can crouch walk up there, but I mean... Yeah. UT full shot. That's probably the buck's track right straight out ahead. I was wondering, because I think I still had them. Go ahead and pick it up, because I don't want to change anything. But, uh, hey, what was that? That was a white-tailed doe. All right. Oh, okay. But yeah, you dropped him on the spot. Beautiful shot. Well, he just stood there, huh. said, "Hit me." <laughs> yeah, that's white-tailed doe. Maybe, maybe this is white-tail up, up here that you just passing now. But yeah, he was just not responding to the caller sent. Okay, so that is the moose's track that you're walking up to right now. There he is. He's in a bush. <laughs> Somehow in the world he got in the bush. I may have to move. Yeah, he was bit. he was basically uh, standing right at it when you dropped him. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can get him out of there. One fifty. Yeah, see, I'm I'm really surprised again. It always seems like like they're just not not what we expect. They're always a little under. Okay, we're gonna get him out of the bush first. <laughs> yeah, he's got a real light colored chest and head too. They must have updated their their uh, textures or something. Yeah. Because he ah, doesn't, shoot. I don't think he's, you know, a special coloration or anything. Yeah. No, she had similar coloration. Yeah. I'm going to need to try to lift his head up again, but I don't know if I'm going to be successful. Why can't I go forward? It's this stupid hill, probably. Okay, let's try to get his head up again. This way, stupid. No. <laughs> Yeah, remember, you can you can rotate the camera around and and manipulate him from a different camera view. I might have to because he's yeah yeah that's gonna be better probably. So oh, I'll turn turn me around. It? Where are you go? Is okay. it a doe? Oh, it's a doe. Okay. I thought I had my buck there for a second. Yeah, just turn... If Scooch a little closer to me, and I think we got a, got a good picture here. And he looks like he's smiling. <laughs> Except... Yeah, I've got a better head on my trophy room than that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, Those... again, I mean, for this for this end of the map... He's a he's a big moose. For the other end of the map, he's on the low end of average. So, huh. for white ram, yeah, he's a baby. <laughs> yeah, up north they're just much much bigger. And I've got movement out there, but I think it's probably that doe. It's a yeah, doe. Yeah, it's, it's that doe. All right. Yeah, never did pick up that buck's track again. Not sure what became of him. Where are you, girl? Okay, there she is. But there she yeah, is. there's a there's a crossing point up ahead and to the right, and 
it's uh, real common for the whitetails to cross there. No. So, if we use that crossing and then we ease forward, then there's more little ponds, and it's usually those little ponds that they like to hang around the whitetails. Yeah. I just kind of ease down to the bank and look up along the river, make sure we don't have any hanging down there waiting for us. on the other side of the river in those pines that's always been very productive for whitetail as well mm. and we're at the point where we'll potentially first start encountering bears the farther we go up the river towards the bridge past the bridge and keep going yeah. the more likely you are to run into black bear that's so far yep. is that about yeah. that so we heard behind us, yeah. Yeah. Oops. Didn't mean to stand up though. Yeah. So I usually stop on each each rise and just glass around a little bit when it's this time of the morning. Well, sometimes you can't really tell. I was like that one really looked like a rock. Mm hmm Or another one should look like a potato. <laughs> it still didn't look like an animal. I didn't realize they curled up. I thought they laid down, you know, like just on their haunches. All right, so I'm not seeing any sign of anything out there. I don't even see a track. Yeah. Uh, oh. Except for that sleeping elk right there. Are you serious? Uh huh. Yep, he's a 170 to 340. Drop a dot on him. He's. Sleeping right there. Well, it's your turn, man. Yeah. Let's see what kind of range we got here. Yeah, he's 47 meters out. And with the rain, I should be able to get within shooting distance. Yes, yeah, same. Dang it gone. He does. He looks like a potato. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with antlers. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I just heard a buck. White tail, white tail where, white tail where? Behind right. me. Or right, let's see. right straight oh, out, yeah. Yeah. In the same direction as, as the elk. Mm. If I see, see any sign of him out there. You're probably better off taking this fella than me because you've got the crossbow. Okay, hold on. Because I've got a... I've got to close the gap pretty good to take him with the recurve reliably. Let me see here. Where? It... Let's see. Ah. Yeah, I see him now. The grass is in front yep. of him. So, That's... so the left side of him is the front of him. The right side is where his tail is. So he's laying with, and he's curled, you know, around to his right towards his tail. So the shot, if you take him towards the left side, should get you the heart and lung shot. He's 33 meters out from me. Okay, hold on. <sighs> He's behind that damn bush. If So where I am right now, if I stand up, I can see him clearly. So if you just uh, slip up right in front of me and stand up, you should be able to see him plain as day. And it'll be a 30-meter shot. Okay, hold on. Um. Ah, I see him now. You got him? Yeah, I hope I can hit him. Well, like I say, his tail is to the right, his heart lungs is to the left. I think you killed him on the spot. 
Seriously? Yeah, he's glowing now. I'll be damned. I was not expecting to hit him as standing. Well, with with that crossbow, you I'm sure you cord him. <laughs> yeah. uh, probably. It's easier to list the it's easier to list the vitals that you didn't hit than the vitals that you did. <laughs> but if we take her easy, we should be able to keep from scaring off that buck that's out there. That's but yeah, I'm... yeah, you you took him out on the spot. Nice. Yeah, he is not a bad looking fella at 188. all. 188. 188. Yep. yep. Yeah, if he had a few more tines, he'd have scored so much better. Whoa. <laughs> all right. I think this guy's going to be a little easier to pose. Yeah. I need to move myself first. Well, I made sure and, and uh, click off prior to the fade, fading, you know, the fade out on the circle for that buck. So I've at least got an idea of the direction he was in. Just drop a marker out there while we get your, your trophy shot for you. Okay, bring your head this way, Goofy. I mean, it looks kind of painful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There. And move out of your way here. Okay, at least I got his head facing forward instead of... Okay. I'm going to move myself over here. Now, do over here. Okay. What do you want me? I think over... Actually, right behind his head would be probably better. Yeah. Right there, actually. And we. I need it. I can't lift my head, though. <laughs> you should be able to tap X. Oh, X? Yep. And it's the same one. He's back crossing the river. How he got way the heck back there at the bridge, I don't know. Okay, that's gonna have to do. Not ideal, but. Oh, that white tail is crossing, or uh, I don't know how the heck he got over there that that quickly. But there's a white tail. He would call from right in the middle of the river. You sure it's, is it the same one? Yeah, it's definitely one that I picked up previously because it wasn't like, you know, a new signal found or whatever, so. Yeah. The only thing that's worrying me is my sense suppression. Yeah. I have no way to check. I'll tell you what, this is definitely your kill. I'm going to take a chance and get some more sense suppression because this okay. could run your shot completely. And I do not want to do that. Let's see yeah. That. So, he's not one I'd even bother with. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason I can't get the. Let's see, alt tab. Let's try that. Four or five hours to go do breakfast with my mom. So. Okay. Well, yeah, we've. Is that him? Or that female? Nah, that was a doe. That was a doe. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah. He's he's the one that was calling from out beyond us, and and he's just a little pork corn, so. Nah, not worth the time. Yeah. Let him grow. Yeah. You want to jump to a lodge and do an outro, or... Yeah, that sounds good. Whoa. Did you see something? No, I was just... I saw something that I thought might be an animal, but it wasn't. But yeah, let's let's jump back to Darkwood's Lodge.
All right. All right, guys. Well, we have completed this hunt. Dula has to has some stuff going on in light real life tomorrow early, so he has to get up. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this hunt. We, as we said, we haven't been here quite a while, and it's the very first place we started, and yeah. it, it's still hot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Hawkeye had uh, six harvests during this hunt. I had three. Not too shabby. Not shabby at all. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I've, that was a lot of fun. We haven't, we, we're we going to have to hit, like, one of the other ones that we haven't done next time. Like. Look. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm, my, my schedule is kind of freed up in, in such a way that I think we should be able to start Hitting more hunts and fishing on a on a Friday or Saturday night, you know. Sounds great. All right, all right, guys. As I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And we'll see you later. And if you're gonna be a bear, be a grizzly. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye. And 